We can reveal a senior minister in the new Turnbull government is under investigation by the Australian Federal Police. That man is Liberal MP Mal Bruff, the newly appointed Special Minister of State, whose job in the new government is to uphold parliamentary standards and integrity. We have learned Mr Bruff is being investigated by the AFP for his role in the notorious Peter Slipper scandal, one of the murkiest chapters in recent political history. Twelve months ago, we brought you an exclusive interview with the staffer at the centre of the scandal, James Ashby. And as part of that investigation, I interviewed Mal Bruff, who made a startling admission. Did you ask James Ashby to procure um, copies of Peter Slipper's diary for you? Yes, I did. It's the moment Mal Bruff became the subject of an investigation by the Australian Federal Police. Why did you do that? Because I believe Peter Slipper had committed a crime. I believed he was defrauding the Commonwealth. When did and you the become the have, police? And the, and the courts have fundamentally have actually now proven that to be the case. It all started when James Ashby alleged he'd been sexually harassed by his boss, the then Speaker of the House, Peter Slipper. He started with a moan that could only be described as sexual. She should be ashamed of her choice. The allegations would rock the Labor government and eventually see the end of Mr Slipper's political career. With great sadness, I have decided that I should not continue as your speaker. At the time, Mal Bruff, a former Howard government minister, wanted to win pre-selection for the Liberal Party in the seat of Fisher, the very same seat held by Peter Slipper. Keen to expose Slipper's travel rorts, Bruff asked Ashby and another staff member to make copies of Slipper's diary, which were passed on to a journalist. The truth is that you wanted his seat. That's true, isn't it? And you're trying to draw a bow between the two. Well, Is that correct? Well, I, you certainly uh, were quite uh, keen on finding out information about Mr Slipper which would be damaging to him. I didn't need to damage Mr Slipper and if you had been in this... Well, why electric... did you need to, do, uh, to seek out his diary notes then if you didn't need to damage him? I just pointed out that this whole community believed that Mr Slipper had been defrauding the Commonwealth and they were right. Was it the right thing to hand over information from... Peter Slipper's diary to Mal Bruff? Look, he had, he had questions over some travel but that my, Peter had done, my, and my you're right. My look, argument is he's asking you to be deceptive, to hand over information that isn't Mal Bruff's. I, I must admit, I was more than willing to assist Mal with the information that he was seeking. After our story went to air, the Australian Federal Police requested the tapes of our interviews. Did you ask James Ashby to procure um, copies of Peter Slipper's diary for you? Yes, I did. Tonight, we can reveal that the Federal Police are investigating whether Mal Bruff has committed a criminal offence, whether he has breached Section 70 of the Crimes Act, disclosure of information by Commonwealth officers. It's a crime which carries a maximum sentence of two years in prison. Mal Bruff argued he was acting in the public interest. Why did you do that? Because I believe Peter Slipper had committed a crime. Now the Federal Police are determining if Mal Bruff has committed a crime. Their investigation has been ongoing for the past 12 months. But with Mal Bruff sworn in as the Special Minister of State this past week, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has judged Mr Bruff to be a fit and proper protector of parliamentary standards and integrity. I, Malcolm Thomas Bruff, do solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare that I will well and truly serve the people of Australia in the offices of Special... Was it the right thing to well, secretly get copies of his diary? It's, that's for others to judge. You can judge... And you believe again. it was the right thing to do? Well, I'll let others to judge. Well, you did it. Does that mean you still believe it was the right thing to do? I will let others judge that.
We put a series of detailed questions to the Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, which he has refused to answer. You can find those questions on our website. Meanwhile, the AFP says it will investigate the allegations thoroughly and comprehensively.